vision, insight fulfills plus new Russian vision and the big picture. Greetings and welcome, I trust you are well. This is an update on a vision and insight that I had in October 2020. The night before, I had the dream vision of the Italian parliament dissolving and breaking up. When I woke up from the dream, I went to make myself a coffee, I was getting the sugar out, I am not a fan of condensed milk and so it was just plain brown sugar. While my kettle was boiling I had an insight and vision. It was as clear as daylight and I included it in the video of the Italian parliament. I said, I saw an announcement of Boris Johnson in the UK mentioning the introduction of a digital currency in February or March 2021. At the time, I thought I was crazy again because the dates seemed too specific. Now there has been an announcement in February. This is where it gets interesting with the visions and dreams. The main topic of the dream was the UK, Boris Johnson saying it was the vision and insight saying. Pay attention as it is the UK. The overall theme was that the UK was going to introduce this digital currency and there would be mention of this in February or March 2021. We are now just four days into March, so who knows perhaps later in the month there will be a further announcement of this later in the month. So there we have it and now let's get further into this. Today, while I was working out I had a vision about Russia. I saw a helicopter in and over the equator around the Central African Republic. I see this helicopter fires missiles in all directions. When this vision flashed in my mind, I immediately asked the question why. Immediately after asking why I was shown a map of the world and events playing out. I see Russia is in Africa fighting below the Sahel region. I see Turkey moving down, I see China moving into the eastern side of Africa and the European nations moving around the continent on the west side and coming into the southern region of Africa. When I saw this again, I asked why and the entire thing unraveled before my eyes, in my mind. The digital currency in the UK will tie in here. In order to have the digital currency work, you need nations on board who will accept this. Welcome to Africa and the pandemic. The revolutions in Africa have brought us to this point where these nations would be bankrupt on their knees. Then China showed up and they began to prosper albeit slowly through Chinese infrastructure and money pouring in. Then the pandemic hit and these countries were shut down. The entire global economy, the Great Reset. This is all for ushering in this digital currency. The vaccine is just a smoke screen to introduce this once these countries are bankrupt, of course the elites will not be bankrupt. This is what most people do not understand about the ANC most people think they are incompetent but in reality it is those who think they are incompetent who are incompetent. They know exactly what they are doing, they are following the plan. This is why Ramaphosa is the head of the African Union. Again we go back to communism, South Africa has the oldest communist system outside of Russia. In fact communism is not from Russia, it was injected into Russia through revolution. Those who participated in the revolution were mostly non-Russians. I bring this up for what I see taking place and going to take place in line with the seer's words. These former empires, Russia, Turkey, EU nations know how the game works. They are now jostling for control in order to not all get sucked into this creation. Some will say they are working together, but I do not think so, look at the sanctions on Russia. I said a while back this is a vaccine race. Now all of a sudden Russia's vaccines are not good enough and we see more and more sanctions. It is as if these nations wish to tie in these African nations into their own financial models. The RAND crashing dream is part of this, the seer said the RAND will become worthless and so will the pound. Did the seer not say they are coming or intending to come back into power by way of revolution? Yes he did, they need to crash the RAND to suck it into this new digital currency system. This way all her former trading partners, colonies are all part of her system and from South Africa, being one of Africa's largest trading partners, the entire Southern Africa will accept this new digital currency. 
but of course, before this happens a revolution needs to take place and the arrest of Mr. Shalosi. While Russia is busy in Africa, now Central African Republic, Libya, Syria and Armenia, it will be provoked. I see that Turkey is being assisted by Israel in all of this. Israel assisted Azerbaijan in the war with Armenia. We see Israel bombing Syria now and this is where it picks up. We have Russia and Turkey in Libya, Russia and Turkey in Syria, Russia and Turkey in Armenia and Azerbaijan. While Russia is busy in Africa, it will be provoked by Turkey in the mentioned regions. While this is happening, NATO will be building up its forces around Russia. Now, with Russia surrounded, she will have to go on the offense. It will kick off with Turkey and then the event the seer mentioned with troops being wiped out in Germany, American and British troops will take place and it is at this stage. Through that action that Russia storms through Europe on its way to the Middle East now to check Turkey and of course. Israel is in the mix and we know the seer said Palestine will be destroyed. We know when he had this vision, the entire Palestine region is what we call Israel today. The entire purpose of all of these wars is to see who will be the master of the digital currencies and be on top and in charge of all of this. The nations such as Russia and Turkey have their own ambitions and in South Africa the RAND has to collapse to fold the country up into the great project in the UK with all its former colonies and trading partners namely Australia, New Zealand, Canada and South Africa and then she will be back in power. They call it Kanzuk, C-A-N-Z-U-K, they say it means C-A-N-Z-U-K is an acronym for a proposed alliance comprising Canada, Australia, New Zealand and the United Kingdom as part of an international organization or confederation similar in scope to the former European Economic Community. But I do not think so, go to the old maps of her empires, I believe this acronym really means, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and United Kingdom. On her former maps, South Africa is spelled South Africa as it's written in Dutch. Now after Russia destroys the US troops and British troops in Germany as Sina van Rensburg spoke about this brings awake are called to them in the UK that they are playing with something much stronger than goat herders in Afghanistan or Iraq. Along with her internal issues with the grass catching alight, the population rebelling, some flare-up in Northern Ireland and famine, she cannot fight two fronts as the seer mentioned. So she tries to sign an agreement with Russia and we know how that ends. This thing is going to pick up fast, remember, the dream vision, the first one on this channel said that all these things. These final pieces of the puzzle take place when the laws are removed and they took place in March 2020 and this happened at the same time our nation, the white Africana nation of South Africa whether you want to call them Boers, Africanas, the white tribes. We as a nation like it or not are the only family we have and our chains began to fall off in March 2020. Now with the green grass, the rains, the coming revolution. The issues coming into the country the nation will be stripped of her last and final pieces sitting totally with her back against the wall but when the RAND crashes. A new spirit is poured on the nation and spiritually they are awoken. The RAND collapsing is to fold this entire economy and surrounding nations into this global partnership the only problem is you have to get many nations on board fast. This can only be done through a pandemic to have nations on their knees and offer lifelines from the International Monetary Fund which ironically is the head of all these countries. So now they rush in, the problem now is you have Russia and Turkey also offering lifelines and we can see that their plans will not be able to be pulled off in time. Since Russia will incite Africa and bring the vaccine issue out in the open. The Turks with the Pakistani and Bangladeshi troops will be working and coming down in Africa, most won't see them. This is for America to know, since I saw they will not see what is going on since they will be transported through Turkey secretly and be dropped off in Libya. So when you see them pouring down into Africa. Know beforehand it is not the Turk but her alliances and I clearly saw America will not be able to. 
assess the situation because it will have been done in such a sneaky way that they will not see it. With the Turks moving down into Africa, the Russians will try create a buffer to stop them reaching the mineral-rich areas of the Central African states. The war will intensify and this is where the French and Russian alliance grows strong. Remember the seer mentioned Russia and France will stand together. The reason for this is because the French are being pushed out of North African countries and because Turkey is part of NATO, they do not stop the Turks. So now the Russians and French work together in Central African Republic and surrounding nations to maintain support and control. The US will not intervene here since France is an important NATO ally and because they think the Turk is on their side, they will not interfere in North Africa. So their roads will be paved over. Then we have the Chinese moving in eastwards. I said I saw a Chinese-led revolution being fought in Zimbabwe. We have the Portuguese in Mozambique and Japanese investments now increasing in East Africa, namely Mozambique. They too will send their troops to this region. I see they are sitting tight in the bush around the Malawi area. Then I saw the Chinese-led revolution in Zimbabwe but the US troops will defeat them, the American Stinger's vision will come to pass. We will have the Germans get involved, then in South Africa. At this stage Europe is heating up with Russia and this is where the first clash begins in Germany with the Russias but there. Proxy war with Turkey is heating up causing them to rush into the Middle East to contain the war front coming down through Africa. At this stage, Western NATO troops will be sent to Egypt to guard the Suez Canal. This is where the vision of the Sears and a dream vision I had come to pass. South African soldiers, whites will be sent to Egypt, allured by dollars due to the work and economic situation in South Africa. A large ship will arrive in the Cape but it will be so large, it will not be able to dock in the Cape Harbour of Simons Town. This is a dream vision I had many years back and it is at this stage they are taken up north and the Republic is in danger in South Africa. They have to go fight in Egypt, in Egypt they will become tough fighters, preparing them for future events in South Africa. In the meantime prepare for the RAND crashing. Groups should really be speaking about this to their members, South Africa will not be the only country that has its currency crash, these things have happened time and time again with fiat currencies. They are not designed to last forever. The immediate dangers right now in South Africa are the RAND collapsing, food security, hungry masses and political groups causing issues. I see the MK vets pushing the foreigners and xenophobia exploding. The revolutionaries will use this pent-up anger and point them in our direction. I knew someone who worked in the government back in 2017 and they were telling me back then under Zuma that the government was aware of 25 million illegals in South Africa. That is what they knew of, this was under Zuma and we know Zuma's counting was far from accurate. So I am guessing that the amount of illegals in the country is closer to 30 to 35 million. If you doubt it, go to Hill Brow and have a look at all the suburbs within a 20 km radius around Hill Brow. I was at a Wimpy in 2017 and had a conversation with a black waitress, very friendly nice waitress and she told me that South African blacks, especially the women do not go near Hill Brow at all because they fear of being robbed, raped and even kidnapped. That is the situation in South Africa, do you think 30 million illegals being harassed, attacked will not do anything? In time, they will go after the weakest link and through the revolutionaries continual stinging of the whites be let loose on the whites. The danger are the foreigners whose parents had revolutions and kicked the Europeans out of those territories. It is more than likely this lot which will be behind a lot of what the seer mentioned about the night attack on JHB, they are being worked on. They have lived through it, many will be promised citizenship, housing etc etc while being pushed by the MK vets into the revolutionaries corner. We have to look at this thing from all angles. I have said since last March that we are in a world war situation in the world which will become more apparent.